Having used ginger ale to perform a small meta-analysis, let's now focus on a larger set of coordinates reported in a paper by Kumar et al. 2016, which were drawn from studies examining speech production. The tasks listed in Table 1 of the paper range from saying nouns, vowels, pseudo-words, and different kinds of vowel and consonant sequences. In fact, it is this table that we will draw all of our coordinates from in order to replicate their meta-analysis, which you can see in this figure here. This may take some time to transcribe these coordinates by hand into a text file, but it is useful to do this a couple of times to get used to the feeling of creating your own set of coordinates, which may not always be available in databases such as Sleuth. After you create the foci file, it should look something like this, with the original paper and the text file displayed side by side. You should note that the Kumar et al. paper lists the space in which each set of coordinates are reported, some of which are in Talleyrac Turneau space, indicated by TT, and an X in that column. These coordinates can be converted to MNI using any one of the converters found online, such as this one from BioImage Suite Web. A link to this can be found in the More Info box down below. For example, if we take that first row of coordinates, which were in Talleyrac space, enter them here, you will see their corresponding MNI coordinates, which you can then use in the text file. Once you are done converting all the required coordinates, create a new folder called Kumar underscore replication. And within that folder, we will save the coordinates file as speech underscore coordinates dot txt. Also make sure to change the ginger ale settings to write the output into the Kumar replication folder. From the methods section of the paper, we learn that the authors perform their meta-analysis with ginger ale using a family-wise error-corrected p equals 0.01 with minimum cluster size of 200 cubic millimeters. To replicate this, we should therefore use the voxel level FWE correction method, setting the alpha level to 0.01. Also make sure that the minimum volume is set to 200. Then, load the foci file and click Compute. This analysis should only take a few minutes. When the analysis is complete, overlay the cluster corrected results, in other words, speech coordinates FWE 05500AL.NII, on a template MNI brain. You should see significant AL overlap in the bilateral laryngeal motor cortex around area 4 of the motor cortex, similar to what they displayed in figure 1 of their paper. Although an activation likelihood map for a single contrast can be useful, you may also want to compare these maps against another cognitive process. To demonstrate this, we will use another software package available on brainmap.org called Sleuth, which you can find here. Click on the button and download the version of Sleuth that is compatible with your operating system. In my case, a Macintosh. When it has finished downloading, click on the DMG image and then click and drag Sleuth into your applications folder. I already have it, so in this case, I'm going to click on the Stop button. Then click on this link to create an account to use with Sleuth. It'll ask you for normal information, such as your name, email, and institution. This should only take a minute or so. Once this is done, open up Sleuth, and if it's your first time, you'll have to log in with your username and password. Within the panel labeled Choose Search Criteria, you are able to add as many criteria as you like. The number of options may seem overwhelming at first, but if you have a good idea of the limits you would like to set on which foci are generated in the search, for example, only studies that have at least 20 subjects or fall within one of the hemispheres, you can set them here. The focus of your search, however, 
Probably we'll use the conditions option as the first filter, followed by either stimulus type or stimulus content. You can then look at the resulting options in the drop down menu on the right and choose whichever one best suits your analysis. In this case, I will choose conditions, then stimulus type, then is, and then sounds environmental, and click the search button. After a few moments of retrieving the citations, you can proceed to the next tab in the sleuth window called results. Here is a listing of all the studies that were extracted using the filters you specified, providing the article's year, journal, and list of authors. You can highlight any of the studies and click on the options citation, prose description, and experiment info to read more details about the study. In this case, we will assume that you want to include all the studies and click on download all. Once the papers are downloaded, Sleuth will move to the Workspace tab in which you can see the number of foci reported in each paper and a color code for each study. By default, all of the boxes next to each paper are checked. If you then click on View Plot, you will see all of the foci plotted on three orthogonal slices in the brain, color-coded by which study they belong to. For example, here we see example foci for the sounds experiments. The left panel contains a close-up of one of the three orthogonal views, which can be changed by clicking on any one of the other views in the bottom left corner. The other two orthogonal views are displayed in the panel on the right. There are three sliders in the middle of the plot pane. The sliders on the left and right set the limits for the bottom and top boundaries of the slice, while the middle slider allows you to move the entire slice through the orthogonal view in the left pane. After you have reviewed the foci and determined whether they are suitable to use, you can export the foci into a text file by clicking on Export, Locations, Ginger Ale Text from the top of your screen. You may also find it helpful to first click on Export, Export to MNI, to ensure that the coordinates are first converted to MNI space. Create a new folder called sounds underscore music underscore comparison. And in my case, I'm going to put it in my desktop directory. And then save the file as sounds underscore coordinates dot txt in that folder. If you open up the file, it should look formatted similar to what we had for the previous analysis that we transcribed by hand. In order to compare this to a related condition, for example, music, we can rerun the Sleuth program by clicking on the search tab and changing the search criteria. First, you may want to close it and reopen Sleuth to flush the coordinates from the previous analysis. Once you've reopened Sleuth, let's change our experimental conditions to conditions, stimulus type, is, music. After that, perform the same steps as before, but in this case, at the end of it, we'll call it music underscore coordinates dot txt. Save this in the same folder as the sound coordinates file. The analysis of these data sets is nearly identical to what we did for the previous data set. First, go to Open Foci and select the foci file for the sounds coordinates text file. Leave all of these settings as they are, and then also make sure to set the output directory to the sounds music comparison directory. Now click Compute and wait for the analysis to finish. Assuming that you looked at the results of that analysis and they looked reasonable, do the same analysis for the music coordinates. Our next task is to create a pooled coordinates file, which is just a concatenation of the speech and sounds coordinates files we have already written. You are welcome to do this by hand, or if you would like to have Ginger Ale do it for you, 
click on the Contrast Datasets radio button. Load both of the thresholded AL maps, which in our case means clicking on File, Open AL Image 1, and then load the file Music Coordinates FWE 01500AL.NII. And then click File, Open AL Image 2, and load Sound Coordinates FWE 01500AL.NII and then click on the File, Merge, and Save Foci and save the file as pooled.txt in the Sounds Music Comparison directory. The analysis of this pooled file is the same as analyzing the previous sets of foci. Click on the radio button next to Single Data Set and then select File, Open Foci, and open the pooled.txt file. Use the same settings as before and click the Compute button. This analysis may take up to half an hour to complete. When that analysis is finished, click on Contrast Datasets again. Click on File, Open AL Image 1, and select Music Coordinates and then Sounds Coordinates if you haven't already. If they are already filled in, click on Open Pooled Image and then select Pooled FWE 01500 Ale, or the thresholded Ale image, and click Open. Then click on Compute and wait for this analysis to finish. When the analysis is finished, you can view the results. First, look in the output directory and notice that the files will look something like this. You will see each of the individual meta-analysis files, along with new ones, that show contrast between, for example, the music and sounds coordinate files and vice versa. You will also see a set of files with the CONJ string in them, indicating significant overlap or conjunction between the two meta-analyses. To view the results, load the output images in the MRI viewer of your choice, using an MRI template as an underlay. In this case, I will use AFNI to view the images, selecting the MNI152-2009 template as an underlay, and then loading the conjunction between the meta-analyses, in other words, Music Coordinates FWE 05500AL CONJ Sounds Coordinates, which will display cluster-corrected AL results for significant overlap between the meta-analysis maps. If you want to see where there are significant differences between the meta-analyses, we could click, for example, on music coordinates versus sound coordinates. The resulting thresholded clusters show where there is significant difference between them, specifically where music meta-analysis, AL coordinates, are greater than sounds. Lastly, you can see this all summarized in a spreadsheet by going to the output directory and clicking on Music Coordinates FWE01500 AL Conjunction, which will show you significant conjunction clusters and subclusters along with their XYZ coordinates in MNI space. Now that you're familiar with one of the most popular meta analysis packages, we will learn how to use another meta analysis package called seed based demapping. We will learn how to use that in the next video.